Well, we've got a lot of time for ARM. There's a lot of people uh, in imagination that know ARM guys for many, many years. They're a great company and they've done a fantastic job on CPUs. Uh, and indeed, they used to license earlier generations of PowerVR graphics with, the, with our MBX series. The difference, we believe, is that ARM only got into doing GPUs much, much later th than we did. And also, we believe that from an architectural point of view, we have a more sophisticated and superior architecture. That actually comes out when people run it in real systems, when they're actually integrating products to get to volume production. Um, and so, you know, ARM obviously uh, understand uh, how to do low power design. They're obviously very skilled in doing CPU design. But GPUs work on different uh, basic metrics and, and how you design an optimal GPU. We're very, very focused on what we do. Uh, and we believe that the, the, the size of the team that we have the, the, and the team that we have behind PowerVR, they've been working together for most of those 20 years. So we've got a team across the software, across the hardware, across the architecture. So we've got a tremendously strong graphics ecosystem. We've got a loyal base of more than 27,000 developers just on PowerVR graphics development. And those piece, people have been with us for a long, long time. Uh, and they know how we work, we know how they think, and that relationship is important. Technology is one thing, but it's more than that. You've got to look at the whole solution and you've got to look at the relationships. All of this rolls together that when it matters, which is getting a phone to production and it must hit a release date, we've got the best track record in the business, we believe. And that's why people keep coming back to us, because when they've got to hit a, an end window, the combination of having a best in breed GPU plus all the things that matter to getting something to volume production, we believe nobody can catch us. They just simply have not got the maturity. They haven't put the hundreds of thousands of applications through five generations of architectures, six when we get to, to uh, the rogue architecture. And that matters because the architecture and the software drivers and uh, also working across all the different operating systems, all that experience gets aggregated into a much, much more mature solution. And we believe that's, that's why we've got a very compelling proposition. That combined with a roadmap, the scalability of our cores, so our licensees can use various members within the, the range as they're developing their range of SOCs. We just believe that we've got a lot more maturity in there um, because we've been doing this a lot longer and we're very, very focused on it.